Hi, my name is Matt Barbeau. Um, I'm a playwright from Brooklyn, New York, um, and my play, El Coquí Espectacular in the Bottle of Doom, had its world premiere at Two River Theater in January of 2018, and that was super cool because um, it's a it's a big weird play that involves comic book fight fantasy sequences and and crazy costumes and 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 really and and projections and uh, it was it was it was really amazing to to find the play at home uh, among people who took that kind of fun uh, very seriously um, so from everything from from um, creating real comic book pages um, uh, 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 based on the backstory of the play uh, to the Coquimobile, which, uh, look that up in the history of this Instagram. That was wild. Um, <laughs> I, um, it, it was it was really such an honor um, to put that play up there, and it was amazing to see it come to life there. Um, the play actually has a long history uh, with Two River Theatre, uh, as it was featured in the um, 2016 Crossing Borders Festival. Um, the Crossing Borders uh, Festival is, is, is an amazing opportunity um, for uh, the Latinx uh, theater making community to, to showcase the vibrancy and immediacy uh, of our playwrights um, and uh, and that it, 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 it takes place at, at such a wonderful regional space is, is just like uh, it's a dream and and it's and it's and and the work that that uh two river does to reach out to the community and to to uh not but both to the theater making community um and and to the latin community in red bank is is really uh inspiring and 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 every year it's growing and and you know next time it happens hopefully this summer uh, i really encourage everyone watching this right now to, to check it out um so um without further ado I'm going to um, perform a part of this play that I've never uh, performed to myself before. I've watched other people perform it, um, but uh, obviously, but I, I've, I've never, I've never performed it myself. So we'll, oh, this is going to go great. Um, <laughs> to give you some context, um, El Coquí Espectacular in the Bottle of Doom is a play um, about. Um, a New Yorkian comic book artist. New Yorkian means uh, Puerto Rican from New York. Um, who uh, quits his job because he feels he can't fully inhabit his identity there, um, and uh, but also has anxieties about not being Puerto Rican enough, um, and so he creates a superhero that is everything that he thinks it means um, to be Puerto Rican, uh, and he names it El Coqui Espectacular. Um, uh, Coqui, in case you don't know, is a is a tiny tree frog that lives in Puerto Rico. Um, you can hear them at night; they're sort of iconic. <clears throat> of the island, um, you can hear them uh, uh, singing, um, and they're actually named after that um, that call, Koki, Koki, Koki. Um, so, in this scene, that's where the play begins, and then a whole lot of other stuff happens. Um, but uh, in this scene, um, Alex is explaining he's been pressured by his brother Joe to explain um, explain what's happening, uh, explain what he's creating. Um, and, and so finally he caves in uh, and tells him all this. So without further ado, here we go. A New Yorkian artist from Brooklyn, dispossessed of his people, dispossessed of his job, down on his luck and at the end of his rope, finds himself returning to his humble beginnings. But when one day he enters the botanica around his way looking for his abuela's favorite incense, he is stopped by the old Santera in the shop, who, reading his destiny in the blue smoke of her cigar, gives to him a wooden box carved from the flesh of a flamboyant tree. She warns him not to open it until he is safe and alone. The box, she says, had belonged to his father. Inside the box is a vejigante carnival mask, unlike others he had seen before, though of exceptional craftsmanship. In the fading light of day, the mask glows dimly from within. 
Placing it on his face, our hero is transported to another realm, landing prostrate before an altar where all the Orishas lay hands on him. Osu, the messenger, tells him that the wearer of the Koki mask was pro has protected New Yorkans through all of history. The mask was forged by Ogun and imbued with the power of Chang'o. Its wearers are chosen by Elegua and protected by Yemaya. Our intrepid hero was chosen to take up the mask since its last wearer, his father, had been defeated prematurely in battle. By wearing the mask, the young man is granted superhuman strength and speed, his senses are enhanced, and he becomes El Coqui Espectacular! <laughs> All right. Um... The whistle wasn't everything it was it was, it was um, cracked up to be, but this mask is the actual mask created for the show, which the theater in a grand show of community uh, um, kindly let me keep, uh, and I keep it in my house in a place of honor, um, and uh, and I, I can't wait until I'm I'm able to 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 see another show at Two River Theater. See you guys soon.